Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video I want to add a short functionality in the Laravel Live Wire block. I have created this uh, before a month or two, I think. Yeah. And uh, someone commented and said he want a Live Wire uh, search. And I'm going to add it now. You, you can find the code in, in the GitHub repository inside the Laravel and Laravel Livewire blog YouTube and you can clone it. I'm going to clone this and give it the name of blog. And I have prepared the search uh, form here with Italian CSS. I've opened the Laravel live wire and inside the query string we have an example of how to make a search. We... Okay, now if I cd in the blog and run the comp composer update here Okay, I'm going to open with a PHP storm. And also I'm going to npm install, pre-install the npm dependencies. And if you go here now, just I'm going to search for the ENV because we need the ENV. And I open the ENV examples here. And save as uh, .env. Okay. And by default, it's coming with a database name block. So if you add a username, root, password, nothing. So you can add what you have. And after that, I run the PHP artisan migrate or migrate fresh and artisan. So generate the key, sorry, key generate. Okay, open now the application in the browser. So in my case, blog test. And here is the our application. Now the database is empty. I'm going to create a new user for that. A register. And let's do a test. register this user and we are registered as a as a user and we don't see the post here because we are not admin and if you go to the uh, composer json you see here we have a spotty permission here installed and i'm going to create a new role, give it the name admin and I'm going to open the a tinker to assign that role because if we assign the role admin we can we are admin again. so the user we are going to grab the user first it's going to be set up models and user find the user with id of one because we only one have now and assign the role user 
assign role and the role is admin okay that's it now you can go here and refresh and yeah now we have the post here because we are admin go here and we can create a post and i'm going to first post title and uh, choose an image i have downloaded two images random one okay another one second post title here sorry and uh, I choose an image for that one okay and if you go to the blog we have two images and uh, two blog posts and here we can see now I want to add the search here in the navbar and just go and copy this one and you can find this in the play talincss.com and this URL okay so and for that I want to create a live wire component so artisan make live wire and we call it a search post okay and now open that uh, search post blade and add it here now inside the navbar okay navbar.blade.php i want to add the live wire component here and the component is search post and close it if you go here and search, check now yeah here is our search and here is the result it's hard coded but one more thing we need to add live wire because in the we are using if you search if you go to the welcome uh, welcome blade use we are using the quest layout and the quest layout don't have the live wire injected so i'm going to or here just go and search for app layout here and i'm going to zoom because maybe you don't see it correctly so I'm going to inject the styles and the script to the quest layout. Okay. So add the style and the script. The script before the body, and now we have the live wire installed. I'm going to open the search post blade here and in the right i'm going to open the search class post search post class okay uh, zoom this and of course another one and now inside the input i'm going to add the wire model to bind this wire model and query so here we need to add that query now so public query and by default it's going to be empty and i'm going to create another property here and call it the results And you can see here, here is all the 
level where it's set for about the, this uh, documentation for the search and I'm going to add this protected or after after I'm going to tell you what this means so I'll just add this one first and add it here okay and in the render I'm going to add to check first if uh, if the if we have at if you have the query a minimum of uh, three characters I'm going to make a search so we need to add three characters to make, make a search okay and now this uh, results is going to be with a post make sure we import that and where uh, title like percent sign and double basis here percent sign and here I'm going to add this query and to get Okay, now here I'm going to check if uh, the query or the, the same thing if we have a query with a minimum of two character uh, three characters I'm going to display this uh, and if and go now and check uh, property search where is the search yeah we have it we just like copy paste copy paste this is the result I'm going to add the query now okay and refresh yeah we don't see so not don't show the hard coded title but if I type it three characters now we show okay and now here I'm going to make a check again so if the results count is greater than zero we have results and I'm going to make a for each for each results sorry as a result and here here display the title Okay, and for each here, and down there, I'm going to make an else. So if we if we don't have a result, I'm going to say we a div with a class. Uh, margin 2 and padding 2 and text uh, gray fit uh, no results no results and and the if and if now okay go here and see what we have okay so if I type the first post title for example first yeah we have the first post title here and if I uh, second post yeah we have the second 
but uh, if I type something we don't have so yeah we have no results okay now inside the anchor tag I want to add the sorry uh, a road here and the road name is post show and add the slug the result slug why result slug and go and check now I refresh and you see I refresh and we don't have any we don't clean this up this is because I'm going to make a function here and mount so where we mount where this component is mount I'm going to add this uh, reset to reset the pr properties here query and results okay so if I refresh now yeah we don't have anything and if I type a uh, first post yeah first we have the first post title and you see down there we have the link and if I click here yeah we go here and you see we have the first post title and the query we have nothing and this is because if I go and add this one in the Query here. Okay, I refresh now. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry for that, man. Refresh, and now we don't have that search. So if I search for the second post, okay, and we have only the title. And this is for this video. I hope you enjoy this. Please uh, subscribe and like this video and share with your friends if you like. And see you in the next one. Thank you very much.